Hello and welcome back to SF at Giants Recap and the Giants. They beat the Cubs 7-3 in the second game of the split squad for spring training. So make sure to subscribe and like if you do end up enjoying. But we're going to go ahead into the, how the offense did. Jackson Reitz, he had a single. Tyler Fitzgerald, he walked. And Pablo Sandoval, he got a single down the line. So really good to see from all those guys. Uh, they're probably not going to be on the team except for Fitzgerald has a chance in case there's any injuries. But Fitzgerald, he also had a home run in today's game, a two-run shot, uh, pull side. So good to see the sing swing back with Fitzgerald. He's kind of had a slow spring, not as good as I thought he would be doing this spring. But today, got the two-run homer. And then Wilmer Flores, he walked in a run. So the walks were really good today. Uh, the Giants were seeing the ball, 10 walks in the game. Um, you want to see the walks there and people seeing pitches and not chasing and 10 walks today and only 8 strikeouts, I'd call that a win on that part. For the pitching in today's game, Keaton Wynn, he went 4 innings, allowed only 1 run, walked only 1, and only allowed 3 hits. He did have no strikeouts, but only allowing 1 run in 4 innings uh, from a guy who's probably going to be your 5, maybe 6 starter, depending on how everything plays out in the rotation. That's really good to see from a guy that you don't know what to expect most of the time, and for Keaton Wynn to come out, and perform like that this today with one week left until opening day. That's good to see. Same with Dalton Jeffries who went three innings, only allowing two runs, getting five strikeouts. So kind of a flip there. He allowed an extra run but did get five strikeouts. Meaning his stuff was probably a lot better uh, locating wise and command. But Keaton Wynn was getting less hard contact and getting, it, um, getting some weak uh, ground balls and pop flies. So good to see from the pitching today. Uh, those seven innings only allowing three runs for those two guys and not very eventful for today's game except for Joey Bart. He uh, got taken out from a hamstring injury so hopefully he'll be alright and this may be good for him in a way because if he'll be on the IL the Giants can hold on to him for a little bit. If Tom Murphy starts to struggle, if Bailey gets hurt or something, anything, maybe this works out. But hopefully he seem, he uh, ends up being alright and everything comes back to normal and we get everything figured out with the catching position. So that will do it for today's recap. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time for a new SF Giants recap video.